inside of those. Okay, my eyes are definitely closed. Open. Oh my we got it full, goodness. We got it fully dark. Look. You and guys got a total cool fort in there. There's only one light. There's oh my goodness, light. this is so awesome. Hey guys. Are you both going to sleep in the fort? Oh yeah. yeah. Nice fun. I have a in the memory, garage. memory books are the best. So cool, you guys. Got oh, some, man. Got some books in there, too. I can pretend said? like you guys aren't even here. <laughs> you know what she's going to do after she does the dishes? The laundry, if she knows what's good for her. <laughs> Saturday morning fun. We watched a movie. We relaxed. We had some friends stop by. And now I'm cleaning. And the kids are having a great time. So garage living in the winter in Minnesota is actually pretty good. <laughs> It's really not bad in here. It's nice and warm, even temperature all the time. Ooh, two bedrooms too. Two bedrooms. Still don't have much for privacy, but... No doors, but you know. I mean, we got no doors, but um, just it feels more like a house. I am going to put up Christmas decorations. Uh, we will put a tree in here. We will have some fun. Might be a little bit more ghetto than other times, but you know, it'll be good. <laughs> it'd be a ghetto Christmas here in Minnesota. No, we feel we feel very we make fun, but we feel very fortunate that we have this garage to stay in. Um, we've been to a lot of places in this world that this would be the Taj Mahal for people. So <clears throat> we don't take this for granted and we don't think this is crap. We really actually appreciate what we have. There's a few people online that are just absolutely livid that, uh, that we're building this container house this big. It looked a lot smaller on paper. This was something we dreamt up in our head and it got big, I'm not gonna lie to you. But um, we, our intentions were never to build a tiny home. We are gonna build a second home and we are gonna, once this one is done, you know, cause I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I had nothing to do, build a second house and that's gonna be a tiny home. And we'll talk more about that later, but uh, just to irritate some people, I'm gonna keep calling it my tiny home. So, welcome to the tiny home. Let me show you what we're doing right now. And climbing the way, the ladder, the safe way again, the OSHA approved way, having two points on the ladder at all time, I think. God, this. This window just absolutely blows my mind. 11 foot, three inches tall. Someone stopped by and they said, uh, one of my friends stopped by and he said, dude, that'll be a perfect spot for a big Christmas tree next year. But we got some wonderful news this week. Um, this was probably like 99% my fault. We have nine of our window openings that are actually commercial units because we got the glass for free. And that's an awesome deal. And we were, we were able to make it work uh, for the openings that we wanted. In fact, it worked out, the sizes worked perfect. Um, three of those openings are right here. One of them's in the master bedroom. One of them's down in the entryway. Two of them are on the back of the dining room and two of them are right here in Lola's room. So what we're doing is I had someone give me, he said, hey, I got some, in, some foam for you if you want it. Well, this is four inch thick. Um, it's not extruded. Maybe it's called expanded foam. I think it's called expanded. Either way, it, I, obviously it's, it's been around the block. This is gonna work. Perfect for these holes because um, I ordered the frames, uh, these metal aluminum frames in dark bronze. I wasn't too sure about the color match with the other windows. So I went and got a couple of samples of the metal, brought it home and realized that we need black and ordered the black instead. And we are not gonna see those frames till mid-March. So apparently there's a back order. Black is a special order color. Don't ask me how, 
but we are not going to see our frames until until March, which really sucks. But having these pieces of foam in there is going to be more insulation than what the actual windows are as far as being able to hold the heat, um, the R value. So we're going to put these in, maybe do a little bit of spray foam around the edges of it. And these are going to be our windows for the winter while we work on this place so that we can keep it heated, uh, keep the heat on and, and you know, do our sheet rocking, do all of our finish work on the interior of the house so we can keep plugging away. So show you what I've got going on here. I've already cut this one to fit. I got to cut the other pieces, but I might actually have to put the other ones in on the outside. Wow, that's not great. I don't look very at all. I don't look like it's gonna go. Looks like I need to whip out the do-it-yourselfer knife. Remember that bad boy? Woohoo! Comment below if you know what this is called. I know what it's called, but I'm not gonna give it away. This is some of the cardboard backer that the spray foamers put in there. Ooh, this would be a long drop, guys. This is the part, in about 10 minutes, Jan's gonna call the life insurance company and make sure it's all good. So yeah, now you're seeing what we're doing with these. I'm gonna cut a couple more pieces and like I said, I'll use my can foam. I'll go around the edge of those just to hold it in and seal any gaps up um, to keep that air tight. But I think those are gonna work absolutely perfect for, uh, for our temporary windows until our frames come in. I wanna give a special shout out to someone named Julie who has uh, been watching all of our episodes. She's someone who's dear to me. I haven't seen her forever, so hello, Julie. Uh, I hope all is well, and I hope uh, you're enjoying the progress that you're seeing on this. And um, so yeah, I used to date Julie's daughter, and the gal really still has it out for me. She really, uh, she really misses me, I heard. Thank you to Julie for watching, and I miss ya, and I, I hope all is well. Talk to you later. Time to fire up the rig. This machine is a absolute lifesaver. No joke. The next house is gonna be a, a lot shorter. One level. Two containers. That sucks. Yeah, total bonehead. Either I grabbed the wrong piece or I cut it wrong. That looks like a window to me, man. Woo -hoo. Get some, get some. Must have grabbed the wrong piece. Looks to me like I cut that 22 by 22. Looks like I got a perfect square. These are two of the window frames that we're gonna have to paint on the outside to match. So five that we actually have to spray paint outer 
uh, trim of the window to make it black to match the rest of them. But two or three thousand dollar window for 370 bucks. Um, I think that uh, I don't mind doing a little rattle can spray painting if you ask me. All right. Five and a half. Yep, this is it. This is the one. So, just grab the wrong piece. Alright, see if it fits this time. Put the knife side out so it doesn't look so ugly, huh? If you really care what it looks like before it's done. I'm loving it. I think it looks fabulous. It's gonna solve our problem that we're having. And that's all that matters. I'll probably end up taping around that too just to keep the water out, but that'll work. If I would have known that we weren't gonna have our windows till March, I probably would have went a different route of figuring out what I'm gonna do with these openings. Probably would have left the plywood. If not, for sure the Tyvek I would have left over the holes. So I could have just slid that styrofoam in from the inside and then it was waterproof we wouldn't have to worry about it cut it later um, that back wall possibly the same thing maybe even sheet over it but um, yeah can't cry over spilt milk I guess but it uh, sucks sucks that we're not gonna have our frames until March but who knows maybe something crazy cool will happen will come in sooner you never know We have got um, we've got a little work we're doing on this beautiful Saturday. I think it's probably gonna maybe get to 40 degrees today, but with that sun out, it feels just absolutely fantastic. We are working on the overhang, the master bedroom is. We had the bottom of the upper level containers up there. So it looked like this. This is obviously inside the house, so we don't have to insulate that. A good way for a cold climate setting like we have in Minnesota here uh, to foam the bottom of that and insulate it properly. Um, instead of spraying around all those C channels that are in the floor of the container, what we did is we basically faced that or furred it out with three quarter plywood. That will give a nice substrate for a nice flat surface for the spray foamers. So having the ability for the cold or hot weather, whatever, to thermally bridge through the bottom of that C channel. So that's what we're doing today. Jerry came over to help me out like always. Can't tell you how much this guy is just totally saving my butt on this build. So, um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. He's laying out where we're gonna put the two by sixes running this way because we need, we need a total of four inches of spray foam underneath that cantilever for code here in Minnesota. We will be spraying the inside of those beams and around the bottom, the outside is already sprayed. So the, we just have to wrap that spray foam around the bottom a little bit um, and then up around that beam and we'll spray the inside of this beam and then we'll spray the, uh, the plywood that you see here to insulate that. So we're gonna put some of these with eye joists two by six joists, we're gonna call it something. I don't know what to call it. What do I call it, Jerry? What are we putting in right now? Ledger board? We'll call them either rim joists or ledger boards. They're two by sixes that we're screwing to that three quarter plywood, so. This is how Jerry decided to spend this beautiful Saturday and he spent it with me. So how awesome is that? Thank you, Jerry. You're the best, man. I have never met anyone. That's as much of a butt kicker as this guy. This guy just goes and goes and goes. He's got that type A personality to get, get stuff done.
finally got the underside of the cantilever furred out with the two by sixes. Since then, we've had the spray foamers back. This was the last bit of spray foam in the house, so I'm glad that's done. Eventually, when we do our siding, we'll get this covered. We'd like to do some wood, LED lights, have a fan out here for circulating air in the summer. We think this is gonna be an awesome spot for like an outdoor set of furniture. So like the outdoor sofas and stuff like that, that'll be underneath here. This will be a covered portion of our patio. It'll be a nice place to hang out when it's really hot or maybe there's just a little bit of drizzle coming down and yet it's still nice out and you wanna hang out outside. We can do it underneath our master bedroom that's above our head so yeah all right thanks for joining us today guys subscribe please give us a thumbs up if there's something you want to see or something you want to know please shoot us a question shoot us a comment we'd love to hear from you guys yep caviar taste on sunfish budget <laughs>